The Flying Dutchman might just be a figure of our collective imaginations and a popular character in SpongeBob, but these ten ghostly abandoned ships are not. These ships are shrouded in mystery, not only because of the reasons why they were abandoned, but also because in most of these stories, the crews simply vanish without a trace. The story of the ship on number one is particularly intriguing, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Here are the ten most mysterious abandoned ships. Number 10, the Mary Celeste. When it comes to describing the discovery of the apparently abandoned Mary Celeste in 1872, words like spooky and unsettling simply don't do it justice. The Brigantine merchant ship was found in the Atlantic Ocean with its cargo and valuables completely untouched, packed with six months worth of food and water. The weird thing was there was hide nor hair of a single passenger or crew member. The ship began its fateful voyage on November 7th, 1872, sailing with seven crewmen and Captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs, his wife Sarah, and the couple's two-year-old daughter, Sophia. The 282-ton Brigantine battled heavy weather for two weeks to reach the Azores, where the ship's log last entry was recorded at 5 a.m. on November 25th. It was then spotted ten days later with no one on board. Though its contents were wet and it was a bit worse for the wear, the ship was still seaworthy after being out for just a month. The fact that all reasonable explanations, from storms to piracy, seem to have been ruled out has spurred more outrageous theories of alien abduction or sea monster attacks. Today, the fate of the Mary Celeste remains one of history's most famous and puzzling maritime mysteries, but this is far from the only story of its kind. For instance, Number 9. The Bella Mica when a classic-style schooner, unlike any other scene in Italy, was found off the coast of the island of Sardinia with no crew on board, it seemed kind of like a repeat of the Mary Celeste. But this is no seemingly mythical tale from ages past. Spotted by the Italian Coast Guard in 2006, it was found drifting off the coast of Punta Volpe on the island of Sardinia, known as a millionaire's playground. Strong currents were pushing it towards rocks, and Coast Guards boarded the vessel just in time and managed to attach a line and tow it to the port of Obia where it was examined. This ghost ship contained a half-eaten meal of Egyptian food, French maps of North African seas, a pile of clothes, a flag of Luxembourg, and a wooden plaque bearing the name Bellamica. Italian authorities found that the ship had never been registered in any country. Because the ship was misidentified as an antique in the press, a tsunami of public interest surrounded the case, but it was soon revealed to be a modern yacht belonging to a Luxembourg man who likely didn't register it for tax evasion purposes. Why it was abandoned in the first place was actually never found out. Number 8. The Carol A. Deering This five-masted commercial schooner was on its way back from delivering a load of coal from Virginia to Rio. And during a supply stop in Barbados, the first mate was arrested for making threats against a supposedly interfering and not-so-sharp-eyed captain. He was released on bail and forgiven before the ship moved on towards its destination of Norfolk, Virginia. The ship was spotted when it hailed the Cape Lookout lightship in North Carolina, and a man with a foreign accent on board told the lightship's keeper that the vessel had lost its anchors. However, the next time it was seen was when it ran around in Cape Ataras, North Carolina. The crew, their belongings, and the lifeboats were all missing. The crew was never located and the U.S. government has never come up with an official explanation. Though they did consider foul play by rum runners or communist pirates set on capturing American ships. Today, conspiracy theorists often use the Deering as an example of the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, despite the fact that the ship was far away from it by the time the crew disappeared. Number 7. The High Aim 6. Murder, Mutiny, and Rotting Fish. The story of the High Aim 6 is a strange one, that's for certain. This Taiwanese ship was found drifting in Australian waters without its crew in 2003. People first guessed that the Taiwanese-owned Indonesian-flagged fishing boat ran out of fuel, leaving those on board with the option of drifting out into the Indian Ocean or taking to the lifeboats and seeking a safe shore on Australia's west coast. But that didn't make sense because plenty of fuel and provisions remained on board, along with the crew's personal belongings and a hold full of stinky seafood. Another possibility is that the 20-meter vessel was boarded by pirates sometime late in December after the owners, Sai Huang Sheher, spoke by radio telephone to the captain. However, a forensic examination could find no sign of a struggle, making that theory highly unlikely again. The only crew member ever tracked down claimed that the captain and engineer were murdered and the crew headed back to their homes, but no reason was ever given. Number 6. The MV Joyita. With 25 passengers and crew on board, the Joyita disappeared in the South Pacific in 1955. 
Five weeks after the ship was reported overdue, it was spotted off course, partially submerged, and missing four tons of cargo, including medical supplies, timber, food, and empty oil drums. It was October 3, 1955, when MV Joyita departed from Apia Harbor in Samoa and started her ill-fated journey towards the Tokalu Islands, where she was due to collect a cargo of copra. It never made it, though. The radio was tuned to the International Marine Distress Channel, but the wiring of it was flawed. In its configuration, it would only transmit a little over a mile. The lifeboats were gone and bloodstained bandages were found. Some believe that the captain was injured or killed and that the passengers and crew felt that they had no choice but to abandon the ship. But that still doesn't explain the missing cargo. Number 5. The Zabrina Yet another ship found without its crew was the Zabrina, a three-masted sailing barge that left a port in Falmouth, Cornwall on September 15, 1917. It had a cargo full of coal bound for St. Briac, France. Two days later, she was spotted drifting near Cherbourg, and then found washed ashore on Rousel Point, south of Cherbourg. When the French Coast Guards boarded her, they found no crew, the table set for breakfast, some disarrangement of the sails, and the last entry in the captain's log as the date she had left Falmouth. So what happened to the crew? The most obvious explanation was a U-boat attack. Common German practice was to allow merchant crews to board lifeboats or the U-boat itself before sinking the target. And interestingly, she had a 23-man crew on that trip instead of the usual six, so it would seem probable that she was being used as a Q-boat. That's actually a merchant vessel modified to carry 8 or 12-pounder guns, used to lure enemy ships or submarines close enough to attack them. But with the crew having never been found means we're never going to get the full story of what exactly happened. Number 4. The Jean Sang. A lot of illegal activity goes on in the world's oceans, from illegal fishing to human trafficking. So, when mysterious ships of unknown origin turn up, they're automatically suspicious. The Jin Seng was just one such ship, spotted drifting into uncharted waters near Queensland, Australia in 2006. However, once Australian customs officials boarded the ship, they couldn't find evidence of recent human activity at all. In fact, the ship had been stripped, with its name and identifying features painted over. According to investigators, the ship had been abandoned some time ago and was probably under tow when it broke free. It's believed the ship may have been used to supply fishing boats with food and fuel and water outside Australia's exclusive economic zone. The vessel is considered to be a navigational hazard and custom officers are liaising with the Australian Maritime Safety Authority in the hope of securing the vessel. Ultimately, since no owner could be found, the ship was intentionally sunken. Number 3. The Kaz 2. On April 15, 2007, three men set out on a journey along the coast of Australia, and three days later, their ship turned up drifting toward the Great Barrier Reef with everything perfectly in place. Everything, that is, except for the men themselves, who were, of course, missing. Food was set out on the table, a laptop was open and still turned on. All the boat's emergency systems were fully functional and life jackets hung neatly on their hooks. It's thought that the three friends, who were on their way back to Western Australia, had disappeared only hours after they left the popular holiday port of the Airlite Beach on the Witten Sunday's coast on April 15th. Then the boat sailed on unmanned for three days, being observed by passing fishermen before the alarm was raised by the Coast Watch aircraft. Many theories have been canvassed as to how the three went missing, from the tragic to the fantastic, from going for a swim together and not being able to get back on board, to pushing the vessel off a sandbank only to have it sail away. Escaping Australia illegally on another waiting vessel, or the possibility that they suffered foul play by persons unknown. It's still a mystery. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is a subscriber submission, which involves a ship that's been indeed abandoned, but for more nefarious reasons rather than mysterious. Find out more next with number 2. The Liubav Orlova. The Liubav Orlova was built in 1976, part of a fleet of eight sister ships commissioned by Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev as a make-work project for a Yugoslavian port. Each was originally named for a Soviet actress, and Liubav Orlova was one of the Empire's most beloved stars. She appeared in 11 classic films between 1934 and 1960. In September of 2010, the Orlova sailed into St. John's Harbor and was almost immediately seized by the federal government. It soon came out that Cruise North was owed 251,000 US dollars by the Russian owners of the vessel. This is because of a cruise that had been canceled due to mechanical issues with the ship. On top of that, the 51-person crew hadn't been paid for almost six months. The crew, of course, abandoned the ship at the port and went on with their lives. The ship, however, stayed at the port for two whole years. 
during which time it became home for thousands of rats. So why is it pictured here listing in some picturesque bay? Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Bechimo. Use a trade pelts for provisions in Nuit settlements along the north coast of Canada, the SSS Pachimo was no stranger to harsh conditions. This 230-foot cargo steamer had just been freed from a pack of ice a week earlier, and it got stuck even worse on October 8th of 1931, leading over half of its crew to abandon it while 15 remained to wait out the winter nearby in a wooden shelter that they had built. When a blizzard struck on November 24th, the ship was later found to be missing and assumed sunken, but it turned up three days later, 45 miles away. The crew gathered up the cargo and abandoned the ship, believing it wouldn't survive the winter. But once again, it did not sink. Over the next several decades, sightings of Bechimo were reported all over the coast. Some people even boarded the ship. It was last seen stuck in ice off the Alaskan coast in 1969. Did it finally sink, though? Maybe. Or maybe it will turn up once again. Know of any more stories of abandoned sea vessels? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.